What's up y'all? Welcome back to Sweet and Savory Barbecue. I'm your host Jamie Trader. Today we're going to be doing Steakhouse Pork Tenderloin on our PK Grill. Let's get started. To get our butter started, we've got a half a stick of salted butter. We're going to add a couple cloves of minced garlic to it. About a tablespoon of lemon juice. And a teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of rosemary. Just gonna let this cook for, I don't know, five minutes or so. Let that garlic kind of sweat down in that butter. It's gonna leave all that flavor behind. You know the rosemary and the thyme is gonna taste really good. That lemon juice is just really gonna go really well with this pork. As soon as this is done, we're gonna get it poured off in a bowl and we're just gonna keep it warm until we're ready to use it. So what I've got here is just a pork tenderloin. Just picked it up at my local grocery store. I didn't do any trimming on this. It's got a little bit of fat on there, but that's going to render out. Not a whole lot of silver skin, so I'm going to leave it well enough alone. Let's get some seasoning on here. First thing I'm going to put on there is a good friend of mine, Chris Lemon. His uh, competition brisket and steak rub. It's really good. It's got some lemon pepper in there. It's awesome. It's going to be our base coat. We're going to start on the back side, keep our top side looking nice and pretty. That looks good. For a little bit of color, we're going to come back with some Killer Hogs Hot. Since we're going for a steakhouse kind of kind of feel, I'm kind of staying away from anything real, real sweet. We're just going to go really light with this one. It's just going to give us some nice color. That looks pretty good. And for a little bit of texture, we're going to come back with that Killer Hogs Steak Rub. About a medium coat. Give that a little pat in. Flip it over. Do the same process to the top. Lem's meat varnish. Killer Hogs Hot, Killer Hog Steak Rub. We're gonna let this hang out here while we get our charcoal going for our PK. To get our PK going, we've got a charcoal chimney here. We're gonna use some of these Royal Oak All Natural Briquettes. Get our chimney filled up. Place a wax cube right underneath. Give that a light. Wait till they ash over. So our charcoal's pretty much where I wanna dump it at. It's starting to ash over. We're going to set our PK up here for two zone cooking. We're going to dump our charcoal on one side. We're going to get our grill grates in place. Close the lid. So we've got our vents open on the bottom about halfway. We're going to do about a quarter on the top. See how that goes. We're going to be looking for somewhere around 500, 550 on the grill grate temp. And we'll be ready to cook our pork tenderloin. So I just checked the PK right at the grill surface. We're sitting at about 530. That's exactly where I want to be. I'm going to go ahead and get this pork tenderloin on. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of duck fat just to help us from sticking too bad. I'm going to lay it crossways right there on the grate. Just push it down just a little bit. Help get some good grill contact. I'm going to close our lid. Set our timer for two minutes. Our first two minutes is up. I'm going to go ahead and give our pork tenderloin a little twist. Got our grill grate tool. To help us do that, get a twist to the other side and set the timer for two minutes. Four total minutes so far. We're going to flip a pork tender one. I switch to a pair of tongs. Come in here and grab it. Got some really nice looking grill marks on there. I'm going to flip it over. Another two minutes. It's been six minutes. I want to check just to make sure we're not going to overshoot it the internal temperature of this tenderloin oh yeah we're still way good we're still right around 90 I'm going to give this our final twist another two minutes we're going to move this over to our cool side our final two minutes is up we're going to get this moved over to our cool side as you can see this pork tenderloin's kind of got a thicker end and a skinnier end so we're going to put the thicker end towards the hot side and leave that skinny end in the back. I've got a thermal works dot here we're gonna get put in. See we're sitting at about 111 degrees. I'm gonna get that set down. I'm gonna give it a base of the butter we made up. We're building that flavor on there. Get our lid closed and let it keep cooking. We're gonna come back and base this pork tenderloin every 10 degrees or so until we get to 140. Our dot is going off telling us we've hit that 140. We baste it at every 10 degrees. Shut that up. We'll get our probe out of here. 
We'll get this over to the cutting board and let it hang out and rest for about five, 10 minutes or so. So it's been about five minutes. By the time we actually slice it, it'll be a little over that, that we've pulled our pork tenderloin off our PK. Before we cut into it and try it, a quick review of what we did. We made up a little bit of melted butter with some garlic, rosemary, thyme, some lemon juice, and just let that hang out while we got our pork tenderloin seasoned up. We used the Lamb's Meat Varnish Brisket and Steak Rub, some Killer Hogs Hot, and some Killer Hog Steak to give it a really nice savory flavor. We stayed away from anything sweet. We got our PK nice and hot with some Royal Oak Charcoal with a two-zone fire. We put our pork tenderloin on and seared it for four minutes total per side, giving it a twist every two minutes. We moved it over to our cool side and let it finish to 140, basting it about every 10 degrees with that butter we made up. We've got a knife here, we're gonna slice into it. If I can keep these flies from carrying off, Look at the juice coming out. I'm going to go a little bit of a, a bias down here at the smaller end. I'm going to straighten the knife up as we get to the, the thicker portion. You can slice this as thick or as thin as you like. And we're just going to kind of lay it out. We're going to give it one quick drizzle with that butter we made. Right over the top. And that's what I call Steakhouse Pork Tenderloin. I'm going to come in here and try it. It's still packed full of juice. Perfectly cooked. It's going to burn me up, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, man. That right there is a thing of beauty. It's tender. It pulls right apart. But it's still packed full of juice and flavor. That butter is awesome. Some of these board juices. That's a home run. Thank you for checking out this week's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and watch the next one we got picked out for you, and we'll see you next time.